Right, let's have a look at the second half of uh, the Pulse version of Comfortably Numb. Uh, we're still in standard tuning, and this is where we left off. <laughs> I think I forgot to mention in uh, part one, when we're doing that part there, every time you come down here to these little double stops, you're giving them a little quarter bend. A little quarter bend each time. And that leads into this uh, Johnny B. Good riff. And then you slide out of that. And uh, and this is where part two takes off. So we're gonna we're gonna run through this. So we're gonna slide into eleven on the G string, and then we're gonna grab ten and then twelve on the B. And then we're going to hit 12 again and give it a step and a half bend. And then release back to 10 and then hit 12 again. And then two more step and a half bends. And pick them while you have them up there. And then release and then uh, hammer on 10 to 12 back to 10. Little quick little trill. and then finish with one final note at 12. And that leads us into this. That's nine, seven, nine on the G. Now you gotta get a little pre-bend action going here. So take that uh, note at the ninth fret, bend it up, release it, release back to seven and then grab nine on the D. Back down to nine on the G and then release back to seven for a little half step bend release. That's, that's actually a full step bend. So uh, that at speed, that little lick, getting that pre-bend in there is tricky. So uh, let's play that at full speed and uh, you'll get a feel for the melody. Bent it a little too much that time. And that leads into this. And that is 979 on the D. And then slide out to uh, 7 on the A. And then release back to 5. And one final quiet note at uh, 7 on the low E and slide out of it. And that leads into this. And that's pretty easy. That is sliding into nine on the A, double hit at seven on the uh, D, and then a note at nine on the D. Release back to seven. And then do the exact same thing on the G string. And then this little blues lick. And that's a uh, bend at nine, grabbing uh, a barred uh, B and E string at the seventh fret, and then finishing up on 10 of the B. So let's play uh, slowly up to that point. Uh, so. And now we're into this. So we are sliding into 12 of the B, then grabbing 10 of the A, and then a full step bend of 12 of the E. 
and then release that bend and back to the natural note and then release it back to 10. And then one more note at uh, static note there at 12 of the high E and then give that another full step bend. Just like that. And every bend in this section here is get lots of vibrato. You can grab your whammy bar. And uh, so now we're going to switch fingers for the next part because you don't want to be there. You want your middle finger to take over this. So, so we're on the 12th fret with our, uh, our ring finger. So now we're going to jump up here to 14 and we're going to switch to our middle finger. So now you're going to grab 14. You're going to hit it three times. The first time right at the natural note at 14. The next two times a half step bent up. And then release it. And then two more notes at the 14th fret. And then you're going to pull off 15 to 14 to 12 and then a full step bend at 15 on the B. And then you can give a little whammy bar work there. And then, and then 15 to 14 on the B and then pull off 15 to 14 to 12. And then up to 14 on the G back down to 12 and then a full step bend at 14 on the G with lots of vibrato. So that whole little lick there. With lots of vibrato and then we're into this. Uh, that is not difficult, uh, but you got to get your whammy bar working here. So it's basically just working between 14 and 11 on the G string. And this is the pattern. So the first note is at 14, then you're going to go back to 11. And when you hit 11, you're going to give your whammy bar a little dip. give a little of whammy bar work there so so when you go back to 11 a little dip when you get back up to 14 another little dip sorry and then we're into this back into our little blues position here full step bend at 10 for a triple hit, full step bend. And release, and then release back to seven. Up to nine on the G. Double hit at seven, grab 10. And then a full step bend. And now we're getting into the higher registers. So, and we're going to slide into 19, hit, slide into it and then hit it twice. And then one more time and pull off to 17 and back on to 19. Then you're going to go 19, 21, and then a half step bend. And then uh, a little down, up, down. And then pull off uh, 19 back to 17 and then back on to 19. So. So that's that little lick. And then we're into this. So 
So we're, uh, we're on the 17th fret. We're gonna bend the 17th fret on the B string and uh, a full step. And then we're gonna grab the 17th fret on the high E. And we're gonna do that twice. And then bend 17 on the B one last time. And then 17, 15, 17. And then this final lick. 17 or 15 to 17 and then hit the note at 17 again and then a very quick up and back release back to 15 and then grab 16 on the G same thing we did earlier on in this solo except we did it there so up to that point. and vibrato everywhere. Eh, there's no static notes. They're either being bent, and if they're not being bent, he's, he's waggling it. And that leads into this. And that is, uh, now we're back into this blues position again in the B minor uh, pentatonic. Bending 10, grabbing seven of the high E, and then seven, 10 of the B, and then nine of the G back to seven of the B. And then we're into this classic blues lick, which he plays about 18 times. And uh, that's bending nine, and then barring uh, the seventh fret of the B and the high E, and then pulling off 10 to seven of the B over and over and over again. And that goes on for like a, a bar and a half, or, or six bars, I think, uh, or maybe even eight bars. And it finishes up with this. A little pre-bend, back to seven, up to nine. All right there on the sevens and nines. And now we're going to slide into 12 of the B for this lick. Sliding into 12 of the B. And then 10, 12, pull off back to 10. And then a little triple hit there at 12. And then finishing up on 10 of the high E. So that little lick right there on 10 and 12. Now a little pre-bend at 12 and release back to 10 and then a triple hit at 12. And then again, another little hammer on from 10 to 12 to finish it up. All right, so now we're gonna grab uh, 14 of the high E and we're gonna grab 17 of the high E. 
and then we're going to grab that note at the 17th fret and start bending the hell out of it. Hell out of it. That is not exactly what he's doing, but uh, that works very well. I didn't, I didn't pick out exactly what his, his, his notes were there, his bend release notes and whatnot. But you're just bending that note, little bend releases, you're plucking it a few times while you've got it bent, uh, kind of like this. That works. And then grab 19 for a step and a half bend, and then release it back to the natural note at 19 on the E string for a double hit. And now we're into the fun whammy bar bit. Uh, this is not really that hard, but it's, it's, it's a bit precise. And uh, he's not doing much with his left hand. He's got his index finger on uh, what, 17 of the high E and his middle finger on 19 of the B. He's got his whammy bar in his hand and he's upstroking the E string, dropping the bar halfway down while he's got it halfway down. He's hitting the B string and releasing it. And as he gets going, those two notes start playing off each other and syncopating and it uh, sounds really cool. Plus he's got a lot of effects on this part of the solo. And as he starts getting into it, he starts waggling the whammy bar a little bit more. Uh, the first part, the, the first four or five he does, he's just basically going down, up, down, up. And as he gets into it, he starts giving a little more uh, shake to the whammy bar on the B notes, the B string notes. Kind of like that. And that leads into this. Just a little play between 17 and 19 on the high E. And then you're going to go 19 to 21, and then a half step bend at 21. And then back to the natural note at 21. And then 19 to 17 of the high E. And then jump back here to 17 of the B with your ring finger with a little uh, bend, release back to 15, and then another bend at uh, 17. And then get your pinky down here on 17 of the high E, and release the bend. And then a little hammer on from 17, or 15 to 17, a little double hit. Pull back off to 15, and then finish up on 16 of the G. So, And then we're into this. So that is, uh, is basically a little pattern of four and three. And we're back here in our B minor pentatonic box with our index on seven and our uh, ring finger up here on 10, keeping this one static and bending the B string. Four, then three. That's four, that's three, and giving vibrato to each one of those bends, or not each bend, but when, you know, whenever you have uh, a little bit of a static amount of time, like right there, and then move it up two places and do the exact same thing. Move it up one place, just for four, move it up two places, just for four, and then we're into uh, a little bit of a different pattern. Now we're up here on the 17th fret of the B, and then we're gonna go bend, grab 14, and then 17 of the high E, and do that five times. And then slide in for a double hit at 19. And now we're near the end of the solo, and now we're going to go 9 or 17, 
back to 15 on the high E, and then pull off 15 back to 14, and then up to 17 of the B, and then back to 15 of the B. And then you're going to give that two full step bends and pick it while they're up there. And then release, pull off 15 back to 14, and then roll up to 14 on the G. And that's the end of the solo. So. Big slide. down to the third fret of the low E, move it down to two for a little bend release, uh, slow bend, open E, and that's basically the end of the solo, now the, you know, Nick Mason comes in and smashes down the cymbals, this is kind of what he's doing, uh, just, uh, you know, he's just kind of going nuts in the uh, B minor pentatonic, sliding into uh, seven, grabbing five of the A, and then grabbing seven, sliding into nine. And then a little bit of uh, play between the five and, or between the seven and nine. Grabbing that good bendy note there at nine a couple of times. And then back down into the blues lick. And then repeats that lick again. works his way down the pentatonic scale and then starts sliding power chords from A to B. And that's the end of the song. Uh, so anyway, that part there, you just play with that. That's just an outro solo where he's just kind of, you're kind of going crazy. You're not really doing anything in particular. You're just, uh, working in the, in the B minor pentatonic, just, you know, playing stuff. So kind of like. is how you play the solo too comfortably numb from Pulse. I certainly hope that helped you out. I certainly hope I was clear enough on everything. I hope I didn't go too fast. Uh, this is what, I don't know, we're probably at about 30 minutes for the second half of this solo. Uh, we'll see you again uh, in the future with no doubt another long solo. And uh, so you guys take care of yourselves. Have fun with that and good luck with it. Take care of yourselves. Ciao.